Hey everybody, it's been a while. So I was not intending to make a video, but sometimes that is the best videos, the ones where you're not intending to make a video, right? But for the last few days, I've had this thought in my head going over and over and over in my mind, you never have to be obese again unless you choose to. Now, the reason I've even been thinking about that, okay, so we run an extreme boot camp and we do a boot camp about once every six to eight weeks. It's a four week boot camp. It's online. And it's a very extreme, emotionally draining, um, getting to the crux, the root of overeating issues. So, you know, we, we put a lot of time and a lot of effort into this, it's like a 24 seven thing for four weeks. <clears throat> and when people walk away from this boot camp, not only have they had a really good weight loss for the month because we guide them through a guided, what they can eat. There's a list that they choose from. So not only do they have a good weight loss going on, but they also have the satisfaction of knowing that they're never going to be obese again unless it's their choice. <laughs> okay, so take a second here. What, what would it mean to you to know if you've ever suffered obesity? First, let's back up here a little bit here. If you've ever suffered obesity, I've been 300 something pounds before, okay? So I'm a couple hundred pounds down from where I used to be. And I can tell you that if ever at any moment somebody would have pointed out or shown me, you know, with tangible proof, tangible in a tangible way, that being that size and obese was my choice, that I was choosing that every single day in every single action that I took. But, but not only would they have needed to tell me how I was choosing it, but they would need to tell me what to do instead. But I would have done it, guys. I would have done it. I was young then. I was like in my 30s and 40s, and I was suffering such extreme obesity, binge problems, gorge problems, horrible, horrible eating issues. And it was showing. <laughs> it was manifesting upon my poor little five foot three and three quarter frame in a totally horrible way. I was bigger around than I was inches tall. It was absolutely horrifying. You know, I think back on those times now and and even though I, I, I say a lot of the times that I don't remember what it really feels like to be that obese, but that's a lie because, you know, those those memories are in my head. They don't never go away. And even the stroke that I had three years ago didn't get rid of all those memories. OK, I do remember what it was like, and I would not ever want to go back there for any reason. And I would do whatever it takes to never have that happen. <clears throat> but here's the thing. Even after I got down the 200s and stuff, the first 100 something pounds I lost, I still could never get to a healthy range. I still couldn't figure that out. I've only in the last three years finally figured that out. Like three years ago, I had an epiphany and it, and it worked, you know, and it didn't just work for me. It's worked for everybody that's allowed me to lead them through this. Um, I guide very small groups. I'm, I don't never do large groups. I do very small groups because this is such a in-depth thing that we're doing that I can't do big groups because it's, it's, it's me and there's only one person. And so I keep them small so that I can give everybody focused one-on-one -on -one attention. But it's amazing the success we're having. The success that we're having in our boot camps, in our extreme boot camps, is mind blowing because every single person leaves that camp knowing the minute you're done with it, that now it's on you. Every pound you lose or gain is your choice from here on out. And that is so empowering. Once you know, once you, once you're able to walk into the kitchen and open the fridge and say, I'm going to have that, that, and that, boom. And it's stuff that is going to feed your soul and feed your body and feed your cells and feed you, uh, it's just feed your mind. It's going to feed your emotions and everything. Or you can go to the kitchen, you can open the fridge and go, well, there's a box of donuts, but I choose to not have those donuts because I'm empowered enough to choose not to have those donuts now. I'm not going to binge. I'm not going to gorge. I'm not going to this. I'm not going to that. And you can say that and you can mean it. Because you're going to have the tools to not do those things anymore. And you're going to have the mindset that it's not even like an option. It's not even an option. I haven't had a binge or gorge attack since November 14th, 2020. And yes, the date is in my mind, guys. I quit smoking on May 7th, 2009. Important dates never leave our, leave our mind, right? And my very last binge gorge fest, trying to kill myself with food, was on November 14th, 2020. And at the end of it, I said, I'm, that's it. I'm never doing this again. And I meant it. And I started developing the tools that would help me never do that again. 
And this this came from somebody who for a long time I I binged almost daily or every other day. Um and I haven't binged all in going on 3 years now. Wow, that's that's amazing. To me, that's as big if not bigger of an accomplishment than quitting smoking cigarettes because yes, smoking cigarettes were going to kill me eventually. Um but so was what I was doing to myself with food. You know, I literally was killing myself with food the way I ate. It was horrible. And the thing is, is, you know, I know there's a lot of this body positivity and love yourself the size you are and all that kind of stuff going on out there. And I get it. Um, I get it because, trust me, if I could have found a way to love myself like that, I might have tried that too. But I don't know if I would have because always in the back of my head was the knowledge that obesity is not, obesity is like a disease. It's, it's not a safe way to live. It's not a healthy way to live. I don't care what people say about, well, I weigh 500 pounds and I'm healthy. No, you're not. Uh, I don't give a crap what you're going to tell me. I, I don't believe you're healthy. I don't believe I was ever healthy at those sizes. I don't believe I was healthy being 30 or 40 pounds overweight. My blood pressure started getting higher. Um, no, you might, your blood sugars are going up, your insulin levels rising. No, you're not healthy. I wasn't healthy. So if you are a po body positive person, great. I support that. I support whatever it is you want to do. But for me and for the people who believe as I believe that, that you know they need to get the weight off and stuff, it is so life changing to not chase food. And I, I'm always talking about I want to write a book called Food Freedom. And if I ever write one, that probably will be the, the name of the one I'm, that I want to write someday. Um, because it's, oh my God, it's so amazing to have this freedom now. To have the freedom to eat within a window. Yes, I have a window. I do the whole window thing. Um, my window can move around as, as I need it to, but I have a window. Um, I have a certain amount of hours that I, I have food during the day um, and I do intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting has been a godsend to me. I also do extended fast now and then and people in my groups have learned to do extended fast. I've had people come into my groups, into my boot camps and say, yeah, I can't fast. I've never fasted, blah, blah, blah. And they, they leave doing extended fast. Yeah, it's crazy what a little short fast here or there, a little tweak here and there when it comes to that kind of stuff and finding out your body's perfect time to eat because we're all different. Like some people eat eight to eight to 12. Some people eat 10 to two. I mean, everybody has these different eating windows, you know, um, and that's fine too. We, we spend a little time working on that in the group, you know, trying to figure out what's best for each person individually. Cause sometimes we have them on one and it just doesn't suit them, you know? So we have to switch the times around again, but food freedom, man, we have found food freedom. And I don't know. I just felt like I needed to come on here and share, share the message that obesity can become a choice and you could choose you could choose to be obese because you know okay let's be real here what's easier than sitting around eating what you want when you want all day long and just not thinking about it you know getting up and having whatever the hell you feel like having as soon as you get up eating whatever you want to all throughout the day snacking here bite there a piece here a little bit there stop pulling through a drive through here some starbucks coffee over here um, a snack over here, dinner over here, dessert over there, something before bed, something with TV, something while I'm on the computer, something, you know, what would be easier than that? Well, for me, <laughs> being thinner and able to get around and do the things that I want to do and go to places I want to go is way easier than that lifestyle that I just mentioned. Um, that was a lifestyle that kept me sick, disgruntled, upset, depressed, um, unhappy, hiding, you know, oh, so many bad negative incantations go with that, that place that I was at. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you know, I'm doing my part. This is a PSA, public service announcement. Being obese is a choice once you learn the tools that you need to learn. If you don't know what those tools are and you'd ever like to learn those tools, hit me up. Um, if you'd like to check out one of my boot camps, um, send me an email, Vito Low Carb Vegan at yahoo.com and I'll hook you up. All right. I just felt like sharing that because I'm just really, really, I'm feeling so empowered today. <laughs> I'm feeling so empowered for not just for me, but for my girls from the boot camp. Um, one of my daughters took my boot camp and now she's empowered and she's doing her thing. It's crazy. It's crazy how empowering this has become for all of us. And we never have to be fat again. <laughs> it's a win-win. Win-win.